Welcome to FIU Football Weekly for Week 9. Panthers coming off a tough loss in the Shula Bowl against FAU 31-17. As always, Coach Ron Turner joins me. And, Coach, your thoughts after that game, uh, the the game against the Owls? Yeah, well, Pete, you know, obviously disappointing. You know, uh, just don't, I don't think we played as well um, as we're capable of. Uh, you know, we had a lot of guys out, um, so some other guys stepped in. In some cases, did a really good job. In some cases, you could tell that we didn't have a lot of experience in there. But, you know, just I think it started at the line of scrimmage, you know. Um, we didn't we didn't block protect pass protect well enough. We did a good job in the run game. Did a really nice job in the run game. We didn't pass protect well enough, and that's not just the offensive line. I mean that's that's everybody involved. And and then we got to get rid of the ball. So we didn't do a good job protecting the quarterback, um, and getting open and giving the quarterback an opportunity. They played man coverage. We didn't do a good jo- good enough job getting open and protecting the quarterback to get the ball out. And defensively, you know, they ran the ball um, better than than what we wanted them to, and we didn't do a good enough job stopping the run and run and protecting the quarterback. After the game, what was the message to the team? I mean, goals are still in front of you, you know, possible bull, bull berth and everything. What would you tell the guys afterwards? Well, we just got to keep going. Just got to get back and uh, execute better. And it wasn't a matter of lack of effort or want to. The guys were, were given great effort. It was just a matter of execution sometimes. And the run in the, on defensively in the run game, you know, most of the runs they had were – Lack of execution, guys fitting the wrong gaps, things like that, making making some errors like that that we just can't make. I think we had some guys trying to do too much, and they didn't have real good eye discipline because of that, and um, it got us in trouble. Well, let's, let's take a quick look back at the Shula Bowl last Saturday in Boca Raton. Panthers and Al Shula Bowl 14. And FIU comes, well, FAU starts out with the ball first, and the Owls drive down to the inside the 10 but uh, you'll see a fourth and two they can't complete it yeah we stopped them on the fourth and two there but we, we also had a third and nine during that drive that they converted and a couple of the third downs that they converted that we could have gotten off the field magoo will open with a pass to clinton taylor for nine but then the owls will sack and the fumble gives it right back to fau yeah we got you know the sack there on a, on a first first down play and um, just got beat the line of scrimmage. The back should have been there to help and, and, and wasn't helping. And then, obviously, we got to protect the football. Gave him, gave him the ball with great field position. One of the bright spots for FIU Saturday, Alex Gardner with 105 yards rushing. Uh, the Owls will get it back. And also, Je- Jeff Dave Matillas with 11 tackles and Anthony Went with 10 tackles, as we see there in the highlights. Yeah, we had, you know, again, our guys were playing really hard and doing some good things. We just didn't do them consistently, you know, well enough to win the game. We turned the ball over a couple times that led to 14 points, and I don't, and we didn't get takeaways. Gardner with runs of 10 and 11 yards there, but FIU will have to punt, and then FAU will get it back, but the Panthers will get a stop as Lars Coot with a stop there, and then Denzel Pirine will get the tackle for loss. Yeah, got a good stop there. Just unfortunately, you know, we we didn't we didn't go down and, and punch it in ourselves when we got it back. There's the P Ryan tackle for loss. At this point, FAU's up 17 to nothing with that field goal, and then the Panthers will get going and get their first touchdown of the game here. Yeah, we finally got something going a little bit. Once it was 17 nothing, we got the ball back and put together a real nice drive. Uh, both, you know, running the ball and throwing it. And protection was good here and gave us a chance to make some plays. And Akil Danfodio stepped up. You know, both our other two tight ends were out. And Akil did a nice job, stepped up, played a lot of plays and played well both in the run game and the pass game. That was a 40-yard pass to Akil, who's done well when he's gotten the opportunity here. And then the Panthers will drive it down and give to Gardner. Yeah, Alex was a workhorse, you know, all day really for us and did a real nice job. And, again, the line did a really good job in the run game, you know, giving him an opportunity to run. And, and he consistently, you know, made the first man miss and was running hard. Alex gets it down to the one where the other Alex takes it in. Yep, yeah, that plays three weeks in a row now, I believe. We, we've gotten in on a quarterback sneak. He has a real good feel for it, and our line does a nice job of getting movement inside. Magoo won off his own record, FIU record, of four rushing touchdowns in a season by a quarterback. Uh, the Owls will get it back, and Michael Wakefield almost had a pick six there. Uh, just about. You know, he's done a good job. He's got a good feel for the game, good instincts, and got his hands on the ball there. Start of the third quarter, Richard Leonard with a big return, Coach, but the block in the back brings it back. Yeah, unfortunately, that was called back. That would have given us great field position and given us a little bit of a spark instead of starting backed up. Uh, it was an unfortunate situation with the block in the back. Magoo will get the first carry after the penalty and get some yardage. And then you'll see Alex Gardner rip off a 15-yard run here. Yeah, that was a nice play on a third down there. They, you know, they were anticipating pass. They were in pass rush mode, and we uh, popped a trap on them. 
Clint Taylor also had a career high with seven catches on Saturday, that being one of them there. Yeah, he's another guy that stepped up, and he's done that really the last several weeks. You know, he's practiced really well, practiced hard, and um, he's, he's getting a guy that I think Alex is getting a lot of confidence in. We'll get another look here at the roughing the punter penalty by FAU against Stone Wilson. As yeah, it was a good call. A little, maybe a little bit of acting by Stone there, <laughs> but, uh, but he, was, he, he was rough. Good call, gave us the first down. FIU gets it at the FAU 49, Gardner for 15 on this run here. Yeah, it was a nice job there. Again, offense line did a nice job blocking. We had some good runs. We just hurt ourselves sometimes with some penalties and some lost yardage plays that, that hurt us. I don't know if Austin Taylor's any good at golf, but he got a good draw on that field goal to make it 17 Yeah, Austin and our field goal unit have been doing a good job all year. You know, snapper, holder, and the kick, and the protection. He's been doing a real good job all year. Here we're going to get another look at this. Coach, I thought this was a fumble. When Anthony went, fumble, forced the fumble, and Nico recovered. Watch, his knee, it, ball it, comes out before the knee. It sure looked like the ball was out before it. They reviewed it. I was going to challenge it, but they, I know they had stopped it, and they reviewed it and, and said, you can throw the flat. I mean, you can challenge it if you want to, but he's already reviewed it, and it's going to hold. So Everybody upstairs said it was a fumble, too, but their opinions don't matter. No, they don't, and uh, it sure looked like a fumble to me then and now. Yeah, Richard Leonard almost with a pick there, but comes up empty. Yeah, okay. good pass there to a kill across the middle. Tight coverage. Alex did a good job getting in there. And this is the final FIU touchdown. Julian Williams on the slant. Yeah, it's good to see Julian, you know, getting going. He made a play early in the game and finished up with that. Young player that's coming on and getting better every week. 31-17, your final. FAU now leads the Shula Bowl Series 10-4, and they get the trophy back. But now you guys got to turn your attention to Charlotte because that game's in the rearview mirror. And we'll get to the 49ers yeah. when we come back from commercial as we continue with FIU Football Weekly. Conference USA has a history of greats. But being great is not limited to athletics. Be authentic. Be determined. Be proud. Be dynamic. Be diverse. Be kind. Be a good sport. Be thankful. Be happy. Be reliable. Be genuine. Be the next great in Conference USA history. Be, Be the, the next. next. Welcome back to FIU Football Weekly. Our player feature this week has FIU's leading tackler, Anthony Wint, joining me. And Anthony had 10 tackles against Florida Atlantic in the Shula Bowl. Obviously not the result you guys wanted. But uh, just talk a little bit about that game and what, what you guys now got to focus on. Uh, against FAU, a big game we knew coming in. Uh, they were going to be a very good team regardless of their record. Uh, they have a very good quarterback. I feel like he led them very well. He controlled the, 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 the game very well. I feel they had a very good um, rotation going on with their running backs, with um, Howell and then the other two backs they had. And the biggest thing was really, we really couldn't – we never really got off the field. We didn't give our offense enough time. They didn't have enough possessions. We stayed on the field too long. Uh, I think they had maybe two or three um, fourth down conversions that really hurt yeah. us. And momentum, they just kept the momentum the whole game from start to beginning, start well, to end to finish. Let me ask you a question. Uh, it's the third straight game where you guys give up 200 or more yards rushing. Uh, what do you think is the deal there with, with that? Uh, just, to me, it just comes down to tackling. Um, There's a lot of missed tackling, you think? Yes. Uh, I feel like I myself have to tackle better. I have some of the most missed tackles I had all game and um, just as a defense we have to tackle better and it comes down to just doing your job uh, what my coach says um, we're sometimes we're in the right spot myself I'm in the right spot but I'm just thinking too much and not making good tackles and we just have to caress the ball and team tackle well now you guys got Charlotte coming up obviously this is a first year FBS team which means division one uh, I, I hate using FBS but that's just me uh, you guys, uh, you haven't seen film on them, but I'm sure you guys have talked about Charlotte already. What, what are you, th you guys talking about there? Uh, I haven't really watched too much film, but it's just it's no, it's another game. We have to come in thinking we have to win this game. Uh, they're not going to give us this game. We really have to take it from them. Um, and it starts with every week start stopping the run. We have to stop the run. They have a really good back, a, a couple good backs, a good quarterback, and they're going to put out everything they have to win this game just like we are. And it's a noon kickoff. Uh, now we step aside from the field for a second. Uh, you were a uh, state runner-up in wrestling in high school. Uh, how do you think that wrestling background helped you in football? Uh, I've been wrestling since I was about 10 years old. Uh, I got into wrestling because of I was in Pot Warner and football season was over, so it was a real lack of anything to do. And the coaches came up to me and asked me that I want to wrestle. 
And since then, I've been pretty good. I, I was actually something I could have continued in college, but, you know, I love football. And yeah. as for football, it, it helped me with my hands. And being a linebacker, you use your hands every day, and it just took my game to another level. And it's similar because Lars Coot, your teammate, was a karate guy growing up, and he said the same thing, that hands in karate helped him in football, and now you with wrestling, the hands help you in football. Uh, now, to go to the extreme, all right, we're talking about wrestling and how you like to wrestle. You're also pretty good in chess, and not a lot of people know that. Uh, tell everybody how you got into chess. That's uh, not a usual uh, hobby for a football player, but go ahead. Uh, chess, just like football, uh, just one day after um, Paul Warner, uh, I really had nothing to do. So really out of boredom. Yeah. And then I just happened to run into somebody who was on the chess club, and his, his pieces fell on the ground. I helped pick them up, and I was like, uh, maybe that's something I can do. And now I, I played chess through sixth through eighth grade, and I did a little bit in high school. And I played chess pretty much every Thursday when they have it down here in GC. And mm -hmm. right now I want to know. I played Fred Russ in a, a, a good match, and I beat him in like five <laughs> five moves. And I'm really I'm looking for other opponents now, so I'm going to look throughout the teams. Who else, I'm pretty sure there's somebody else who can play and just keep my keep my um, my winning streak going. But as far as you know, Fred Russ is the only guy on the team that can play chess. As I know right now, okay. you know, but I'm looking for people. They're probably hiding. Do you get a <laughs> do you get a better uh, competition from chess in the GC on Thursdays? Almost oh, definitely. Fred, yeah. Fred's no competition. <laughs> little trash, little chess trash talk. Never thought you'd hear that here. Well, Anthony, thanks for joining us this week. I appreciate it. Good and night. best of luck on Saturday against Charlotte. Yes, sir. That's Anthony Went. He joins us this week, and we'll step aside for a moment, come back, and get Ron Turner's thoughts on Charlotte. Hey, FIU fans, hope you're enjoying the game. Join Maddie and I each week along with Ron Thulin for the Conference USA Showcase, highlighting all teams in Conference USA as well as your Panthers. That's right. A new show premieres each week, so check your local listings Wednesday through Saturday for all the latest news, highlights, and features surrounding all things Conference USA. Welcome back to FIU Football Weekly. The Panthers get their first ever game against the Charlotte 49ers this week. Coach, they are an FBS, I want to call them expansion team, but yeah. there's no expansion in college exactly. football, but they're a first-year yeah. team. Uh, two and six, coming off a 34-10 loss to Marshall. What have you seen from the 49ers so far? Well, you know, again, it's yeah, a good team. I mean, defensively, the strength is up front. They're very good defensive front. Put a, um, do a good job stopping the run. They're third in the conference against the run, and they're third in the conference running the football. So offensively, they've got all five starters back from last year, the second year playing together, and they've got a really good back, number three, Phillips. Um, I believe he's second or third in the conference in rushing. I know as a team, they're third. So that's going to be a challenge, stop the run. We haven't done as well on that as we want to the last few weeks, and we got to pick that up. It's going to be a huge challenge for us to, to stop the run against them and for us to be able to run the ball against that front. Their defense has kind of like some contradicting numbers. You know, they give up 34 points a game, but they force 23 fumbles among the leaders in Conference USA, yeah. and they're very good on third down conversion, allowing opponents only 35%. Yeah, they, they are. It, it is amazing. You look at some of those stats, you know, and what they're doing. But what's hurt them is giving up big plays. They've given up some big plays in the passing game, and, and that's hurt them, you know, on their defense. But, again, they're really good against the run and can put pressure on the quarterback. So it's going to be a big challenge. But, you know, we look at the film and know they're a good football team. And those big plays may be coming at the start of games or right after halftime because the 49ers are being outscored in the first quarter this year, 82-44. to 44 and 64 to 20 at the start of the in the third quarter. Yeah, so hopefully we can come out of the gate, you know, strong. We've done that pretty well this year, you know, coming out um, on both sides of the ball. Strong and hopefully we'll have a lot of energy, which I think we will, and uh, we'll be able to come out and start strong and um, and finish strong. Well, the home field has been the Panthers ally this year. FIU 3 and 0 at home, looking to make it 4 and 0. We'll take a quick break and come back with your Twitter questions for coach Ron Turner. At Conference USA Let's be the definition of a good sport. Conduct and attitude. Considered as befitting. Participants in sports. Especially fair play. Courtesy. Striving spirit. Conference USA. Has a history of good sportsmanship. Enjoy the game. And be our next good sport. On and off the field. FIU's opponent Saturday is the Charlotte 49ers, who are in their first year as an FBS program. FIU's first season as an FBS program was in 2005. That season, FIU recorded its first win against an FBS team when it beat Louisiana Monroe 31-29. 
The Panthers would finish the 05 season 5-6, and six, winning three of its final four games, including a pair of last play thrillers against Western Kentucky and Middle Tennessee. Welcome back to FIU Football Weekly. Time for your Twitter Q&A with Coach Ron Turner. As usual, if you have a question for Coach, you could tweet me at Pete Pellegrin, and we'll get that question to Coach on next week's show. Coach, this week, Corey from Pembroke Pines wants to know, how do you get the team back on track after the Shula Bowl, and will it be a challenge getting up for Charlotte? Um, no, I don't think it'll be a challenge getting up. We have a lot to play for. Uh, most of the things that we saw at the start of the season are still attainable for us. We've got four wins right now with three games remaining. So right now we just got to focus on getting win number five, and I think our guys will be very focused. We had a good workout last night um, to start the week off, so I think our guys will be focused. I don't think it'll be a challenge at all um, to, to bounce back from that game. We know what we're capable of doing. We just got to go out and do it. Chris from Miami wants to know, uh, who do you think can spell Alex Gardner if Samuel or Anthony Jones can't go on Saturday? Maybe an Alfonso Randolph? Yeah, you know, Chris, uh, Alfonso Randolph, he'd been on defense for the last three weeks, so we moved him back. Colin Olson's another guy that we're preparing to play in there. And so, you know, Lamar called, called well at times can spell him, especially on third down. So, you know, we've got some guys that are going to hopefully we'll have Anton and, and Anthony back. But if not, you know, we know we do need to give um, Alex a, a rest during the course of the game. And you had Silas Spearman working on defense as well the last few weeks. Yeah, and right now he's staying over he's there. Staying over there. Yeah, right? he's staying over there, but we know we could bring him back if we need to. Okay. And Josh from Kendall w wants to know, with the defense having given up 200 or more yards rushing the last three games, do you think it's a matter of missed tackles or the way the defense is attacking the offense? I think it's, uh, I think it's uh, a matter of execution. You know, a little bit of everything, but a matter of execution. Guys fit in the wrong gaps at times, taking poor angles at times. And last week we did have too many missed tackles, more than we had the previous two weeks. So it's a combination of things, and, and we better get it back on track because Charlotte, like I said, is third in the league in rushing with a very good back. All right, well, that'll do it for FIU Football Weekly for Week 9. Panthers in Charlotte, 12 o'clock Saturday from FIU Stadium, and we'll talk to you next week after the 49ers game. Have a good week.